we're up here in northern Saskatchewan. I, I brought two bows up here with me, and uh, this bow is about 64 pounds. So I like to shoot it and then go back to the other bow. And it's a lot lighter and easier to shoot. So just practicing a little bit here above camp. I'll probably hunt with the other bow. Most of these shots are, let's step back here a little bit. Most of these shots are gonna be pretty close. Northern Saskatchewan is full of true wilderness. In the lower 48, places where you get more than 20 miles away from roads are rare. In Canada, places like that are common. Colby Morrison of Bear Pro Safaris is an experienced northern woodsman and is committed to finding routes in the backcountry and getting hunters on big wilderness bears. This truly is an adventure hunt. On day one, Colby took me to a site that was over 20 miles by boat from where we put in on this lake system. The northern water was breathtaking and the 70 degree weather phenomenal. The boreal forest of the Canadian Shield is unique country. And it's home to primarily black bears, moose, and the occasional caribou. These bears den for almost six months a year because of the harsh winters and the short growing seasons. The northern waters mimic the color of the sky like it's their master. When the skies are clear, which is rare, the waters are almost an otherworldly shade of blue. When skies are gray, the water is dark, dull, and mysterious. While in bear camp, we couldn't get away from a friendly, traditional archery shootout. Part of the pleasure of shooting trad is the smooth release majestic arrow flight oh, oh, oh. and soft dull thud string first on wood that release the arrow. Fine. All right, who's gonna go first? You go ahead. You go first. It always amazes me how such a simple setup can be such a deadly Ooh. weapon. Ooh, I, I aimed high. Oh man, that was close. <laughs> We really had no idea what kind of spectacular bear behavior and hunting that we were about to witness this week. It's Monday afternoon, June 26th. Brent Reeves and I left Arkansas on Friday. June 23rd, and this is our first evening hunting. We drove up here from Arkansas to the wilderness of Saskatchewan, and these bears want to move in this nice, just calm weather. We're so far north, it's just usually not like this. It's usually windy or rainy or something. It's always a stretch for me. I mean, I've taken a lot of animals with a traditional bow, but every time I carry it, every time I make a good ethical shot on an animal I feel like I've done something and it's there's always this bit of uh, trepidation about coming to a place like this with this bow in hand when I could carry a compound or this is the way I want to do it so a lot of people don't understand a hunt like this they might think that I'm over bait or sitting over a can or whatever they say is uh, not hard, not an adventure, not a fair chase. I promise you, they've never hunted with us, and they've never hunted here to see what an awesome adventure this is. There is no other, there's no, no other hunt where you can interact as intimately with an animal as you do with a baited black bear hunt. It's just a unique hunt. 
And we're up here in June hunting big game animals with our bows. Well, everybody else thinks it's summer. We're up here in the wilds of northern Saskatchewan. So this bear hunting thing is legit. Did you see the bear? I thought you were smiling at me because you saw the bear and I didn't. Within 10 minutes of our arrival, we had a nice boar in bow range. Colby had told me that a very large, solid black male was hitting the bait and that I'd know him when I saw him and I knew that this bear wasn't him. From this point on though, we were on a non-stop track of bear on the ground excitement that proved to be the most epic evening of bear hunting that I can remember. It's slightly unnerving to have bears this close to you on the ground, but you start to get used to it pretty quickly. Within an hour, a very mature boar showed up and it was the target bear. He knew we were there and he didn't want to get very close. He's got whiskers on his chin. It's our first day here. The same thing happened last year and I made a mistake and shot an 18 inch bear. The big bear moved around a lot coming in and going out a few times before he settled in. This big bear tolerated the other boar at the bait and he ate right beside the small sow. We watched this bear for 40 minutes before he crept into range and offered a shot. From a behavior perspective, what was interesting is that this older male wasn't a bully at the bait like you might suspect. After the miss, my nerves were shook and my confidence was shot. Little did I know that I'd be glad that I missed about 20 minutes later when another bear would arrive on the scene. We watched this black boar and this blonde sow frolic around and do all but breed right in front of us. It was a spectacular display of bear behavior. And then, coming up from the trail, we saw what looked like a grizzly bear coming towards them and we knew exactly what was going to happen. And the hunt was on. Exactly 43 seconds later, the bear appeared. My confidence was low, and even when he was 12 yards away, I was hesitant to take a shot, but I didn't know it. He was gonna get a lot closer. I thought he was going to get in this pond with us. <laughs> oh. Brent, I stood. 
stood up in the chair and he bumped into the end of my arrow and bowed up on us. I saw your reason for this spray. I was about to get it, son. And I smoked him out there at 25 yards, did I not? He was about to get in this pine with us. Son, I've never been afraid of a bear, really afraid of a bear until right there. I thought he was coming in here. Holy cow. First day, I missed a huge bear. It was all down about it. We watched a boar breed a sow right out here. And then up from the lake came a big color phase bear. He walked up to the blind and bumped into the end of my arrow. And I shot him in about three yards. He ran out there to 25 yards and I put another one in him. Oh, I think the black one was bigger. I think the black bear was bigger. <laughs> Brent, we just about got et by a bear. Did he turn off? He might have tried to go back. Congratulations. Good job. That sucker. He's nearly. Come stand. Come get in there, Cole. The black bear. The cool part about this is the black one was. He was a bigger bear. Yeah. Yeah, but. I would rather yeah, pass on anything in the story and the experience with this it. bear. I wonder if he's got a poke in his nose where he <laughs> ran into my arrow. <laughs> he's got a little bit of room in nose. He looks a little older. Yeah. yeah. You know, look at him. I mean, he's a good bear. He broke off. You know, not broke off. They yellowed up pretty good. He's a beautiful bear. Man, we saw him coming in with the sun, kind of back, and he saw that there was a, just that black blonde sound right there with a black bear literally on top of us. Yeah, I stopped having Brent. There's a bear, His nose had to have been over the edge of our bond. I mean, he was, I've, I've never been afraid, ever been truly afraid that I was gonna be attacked by a bear. Yep. I thought, I, I was like, here we go. This is, this this is, is it. This is it. Yeah. <laughs> But, and to get him with that traditional bow. Bear populations are thriving in North America. Removing older, mature males benefits both bear populations and vulnerable populations of moose and caribou. Bear hunting is conservation.